Welcome to the Branson Woodwind Shop. I have a cutout of a trombone F attachment and with that I'll show you how alignments work. If you take off the rotor cap you can see the bearing plate. There are little marks that are on the rotor and the bearing plate. Usually there's a mark in the side of the bearing plate that you line up to a mark on the casing but this one has a little indentation on the casing and this one has a little rod soldered onto the side of the bearing plate and in this case you match those two up but most of the time there's a notch in the bearing plate and you line that up to the notch in the casing. If the casing is lined up to the rotor plate then the marks on the rotor plate and the rotor should line up. And the technical name for these marks are witness marks. So if the witness marks line up then the valve is in alignment and this one is in alignment. I'm going to turn this around so you can see what the alignment looks like from the inside the lever is not pressed down, then the valve allows the air to go straight through and it does not go through the extra tubing. When the lever is pressed down, then the air comes through and then it diverts the air and turns it and puts it through the extra tubing which lowers the pitch of the instrument and then after it's gone through, then it comes out here and it turns the air and it goes through the rest of the instrument and out the bell. This is what the valve looks like when it is out of the instrument and you can see that it has identical cuts on each side of the valve. So when you push the lever down and it rotates the valve, then the air goes through all four ports on the instrument. The holes where the air goes through on the inside of the casing are called ports. To get the best sound out of the instrument, you want those ports to line up and then when you push the valve down, you also want the ports to line up again and this time all four need to line up. When the witness marks line up, that indicates that the ports also line up with the rotor. When they do, the air flows smoothly past the rotor and into the rest of the instrument. This is called the cork plate and it has either corks or rubber bumpers on it and if these are not the right thickness, if they're too thick, the rotor arm will hit it too soon and it will not close far enough and if it is too thin, then the rotor will go too far and either way, the air will not go smoothly because it will hit the sides of the rotor and it will not be a smooth transition between the tubing and the rotor. This bumper controls the alignment if the lever is not pushed down and it corresponds with that witness mark on the rotor. And if you push the valve down, then the other bumper controls the alignment of the instrument and that aligns with the other witness mark. So if you're going to change the thickness of one of the bumpers, you need to know which of the alignments is off or if they're both off. It is possible for one to be too thick and to not go far enough and then for the other one to be too thin and go too far. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos and also look in the description below for links to other rotor repair videos.